right, starting this video today with a um, warning or whatever you call it. Uh, this video is going to be for women. It's going to talk about women's stuff. So if you find that stuff icky or cootie like, then don't watch the video. Ooh, boom. All right, ladies, this is for single ladies over 50. And the reason I'm making this video is because I I care about y'all and I think there may be sort of a what should I do with myself now kind of um, vibe going on with people who are o older so let's let's just talk about some facts let's talk about some facts that are gonna have to be dealt with um, and I'm just gonna be honest because now I'm 54 I can deal with them too one menopause if you're 50 or older, you're either going to start menopause soon or you've already started it. And basically what that means is your body is shutting down the child making processes. The uh, organs and stuff that are all involved in that are going to stop working and it's going to be a process and it's not all just sprinkle sprinkle with fairy dust and it's over. It's, I won't say painful, but maybe some of you have had pain with it. Um, there's a lot of hormonal changes going on in your body. This is a really good time for you to stay active and eat healthy. Um, chocolate is your friend. I know I just said eat healthy, but there are chocolates out there that are not, I'm gonna try to say, they're high in cocoa, low in sugar, etc. cetera. Um, and some people would say go to a doctor and get medicine and stuff but I prefer not to do that um, simply because my mom tried it and it didn't really work for her and so I feel like I'm probably pretty close to her genetics wise and so I don't I don't know what they would offer me um, some of the side effects of course as you know heat strokes cramping headaches all sorts of things what am I gonna tell you about that I'm gonna tell you do the best you can to make yourself comfortable I mean, it's not going to go away. You have to go through it. But if you're too hot, you know, put ice packs on yourself. Put a fan on yourself. If you're too cold, turn the heat up. Put bigger socks on. Stuff like that. Um, if you're in pain, take some pain relievers. You know, whether it be natural and herbal or essential oil related or whatever. But, you know, take care of yourself. Make it as comfortable as you can. All right, so that's one. Another issue is you are not going to have children. Well, that doesn't mean you can't adopt children. That does not mean you can't become a foster parent for some child. If you've always wanted children, you feel you're good with children, you know you will have patience and you have wisdom and you can offer them guidance and um, help them because what you want to do with the child is equip them to become an adult if you think you have those skills, then apply to be a foster parent. Um, <clears throat> now, as far as uh, you're never going to get married. Well, guess what, ladies? Biblically, it says you are to get married until you are like 70. A true widow, indeed, biblically, is 70 years old. So if you're 50, uh, you're, you're, you don't give yourself a go or a pass or whatever on that. The Lord says you can still be married. Now, maybe you're the kind of person who has been trying to find your mate and you just haven't found him. Well, my advice to you is going to be, why are you the one doing the looking? Why are you trying to find someone for you when Yahweh has someone for you? But he's not going to just sprinkle fairy dust on you and boom, this person shows up. You have to be ready for that person showing up. Are you ready? Are you a mess? Are you a mess expecting someone to come rescue you? Because that is not being ready. You need to be supporting yourself or living with your parents because biblically it's okay for you to live with your parents. Um, you need to be in good health. You can't be, you know, diabetic and overweight or um, underweight or having some sort of issue that you don't have under control. You know, maybe you have dry skin. Have you gotten that under control? Um, I'm just giving you examples. Do you have the skills to run a household? 
because if you don't, if you're someone who's never tried, you need to get those skills because you need to be ready when Yahweh brings this person along. You need to be someone that when he sees you, sees a capable, ready adult, not a whiny, eh, I can't do it, I need your help, I'm whatever. No, you need to be a capable, ready adult. Now let's pretend you're a career person because you have had to support yourself. So you've been working and say you have a car and an apartment or a house or something and you're, you're ready to take care of those things. Are you ready to turn over part of your life to another person? Or are you so set in your ways that when this person comes along and they are not exactly what you thought they were going to be, are you going to reject them? And do you have a plan for when that person shows up? How is this going to work? Is this person going to ask you to go to Cabo San Lucas and you're going for a weekend with a total stranger? Or do you have sort of a... I'm going to meet him through my um, my church body. Am I going to have my pastor involved? Do I have other brothers or relatives who, one, we invite him to some sort of organized event first, and we check him out, we see how he is, and then we continue to do that sort of process. We see him in a social um, atmosphere, but with people around us, so we are safe because that is what I think you should be doing. I think that would be uh, the biblical way. You need to protect yourself. You're a woman alone. Um, you need to be smart. You need to be, you know, gentle as a dove, but smart as a wolf or smart as a snake. Sorry, I don't have the exact scripture memorized, but you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> so, one, menopause is a reality. Two, you're not gonna have children of your own, but you could adopt or foster parent other children. Um, or you could go volunteer in an orphanage or someplace that takes care of children. You have a lot of options, but you need to know in your own mind that you're ready for that. You're not a selfish, uh, pushy, whatever person. You're a calm, even-tempered, mature person who can handle whatever issues are thrown at you. Three, you're not, your life is not over at 50. Your, your childbearing life may be done, but your personal life is not over. And by the Bible, you are not a true widow indeed. And so you need to be ready to be married. Four, are you ready? Are you ready to be a wife to someone? Are you ready to be a mother? Um, and then five, another point I wanted to make that I forgot was when you are a single person and you're a believer, you are to be serving the body in some way and, and not just the body, the father. Now I say the body because that's going to be the way on earth uh, you can serve the father, but you're to be serving the father right now. You are to be doing something. Now, I, you know, I can't fill in the total blank for you there. Are you helping your, you know, your fellowship group? Are you um, praying? Are you praising? Are you um, helping the poor? You know, the poor are always there. You can do things like donate clothing or go to a soup kitchen and help with your time. Um, are you fostering or mentoring anyone? Um, are you giving classes for your church group or your fellowship and teaching them things that you know? There's many ways for you to serve, but you are to be serving if you're single. You're not to be sitting there in your kitchen or whatever playing video games all day. You can grow food and donate it to, you know, a hospital or go hold babies who have issues and need to be held, you know, need the skin contact and things. So that that's at least five things you can be working on. Um, and I hope this helps you. I want to encourage you. I want you to understand that if you're 50, you're not, you know, that's not the end of the road for you. There's a whole big, wide world out there that you can be a part of. So I hope this motivates you, and I'll be praying for you. Bless you. Shalom.